Hey guys, this is iMaster, and this video is going to be all about rollovers in iWeb. So the first thing we need to talk about is what is a rollover? So I have a couple pages open in Safari. This is Apple's website, and its navigation bar is completely composed of rollovers. So basically, when you put your mouse over it, it changes in some way. In this case, the text as well as the image behind it changes. Most websites use rollovers for their main navigation, whether it's button rollovers or text rollovers. Text rollovers are the easiest thing to implement into iWeb. Now, though it's very easy and simple, I'm just going to go ahead and show you an example and how to set up text rollovers all right so e this is a sneak peek of my new site that I'm working on by the way so a text rollover would be a link usually that when you roll over it it changes so as you can see this when you roll over follow me on Twitter it links to my Twitter so how to set that up Okay, well, let's say I wanted to make the word subscribe link to my YouTube page. I would highlight it, go to the inspector, and in the link tab, then hyperlink, enable as hyperlink, and I could choose uh, an external hate page. For some reason, it's not working. There we go. Okay, I could choose an external page, one of my pages, a file, or an email message. So for an external page, I would obviously enter my YouTube page and open link a new window probably. So I'll just go ahead and enter that. Okay. And then come to format and we can change everything about it. So right now I have normal set to white. On rollover, it changes to yellow. When it's when someone's gone to it, then they come back to the page that it's on, it'll be this grayish color. And when it's disabled, it'll be a light gray. You can also choose to underline it. Let's say for normal, I don't want it to be underlined, but for rollover, I want it to be underlined. So now when I roll over it, it becomes underlined. This is very useful, but does not have the full effect of a button rollover, which you also see on my page here. Now, Button rollovers in iWeb tend to be a little delayed. These are working pretty well. As you can see, they're gray when you put them in, uh, when they're not rolled over. Then you roll over them, and they turn black. I don't have any change in the text right now, because that's I don't really want it to do that. Now, this is not the easiest thing to do in iWeb. iWeb doesn't really support it, but that doesn't mean it can't be done. I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made mine and how easy it is for you to make yours. So let me come down here, go ahead, make a new blank page. Sure. Okay, that works. Um, okay. So there are quite a few different codes on the internet, but I've only found one that really works. I've had problems such as it doesn't load the rollover image until you roll over it, which is a really big delay, and others just don't work at all. So this one at Roddy McKay's site, if you're ever on the Apple forums, he's there all the time. He's helped me out with a lot of things, including this. And he has a nice code here. So l let me just go ahead and sh break it down for you. So it's JavaScript. So the load image one source is where the image that you want to be displayed when the mouse is actually rolled over it. So you would enter the URL for that here. And I'll show you how to get the URL and all that later. Image one source, uh, the next static image one source, is the image that displays normally when you're not rolling over it. Here at uh, a href is where it links to if you want it to link to something. Otherwise, you would need to use this code down here. 
but since we're probably going to be user using it for a link, you can put it right here. So that would be the page that it links to. And again, you enter the image down here that is the image that displays when you're not rolled over it. And he gives a few examples, as you can see. So then you can just copy this, paste it into iWeb, and edit as you need. So let's go about making our rollover buttons. Okay, so as you can see, I have my two buttons made. I have the button that displays normally and the button that will display when you roll over it. So it's not, as you can see, mine are the same size. Now this is important, but it's not necessary. What I mean is you, especially if you're using them for a nav bar, I recommend that you make them the same size just to make it look more professional. But if you want to do something, make them different sizes, that is okay. That doesn't change anything. But generally speaking, you want to try to make them as similar as possible, except for whatever changes when you roll over them. So once you have all of your buttons made, you need to put them into a folder, any folder, maybe rollovers, whatever, and then put them right at the same level that your site is. So as you can see, this my the title of my site is Deluxe Site. So right where these file is, the assets, the the site folder, the index, that's where I suggest putting your rollovers folder. So that's where mine are and that's where I put all of my rollover buttons. So then you can go ahead and upload this with Easy Web Publisher, Cyberduck, whatever. And so that's how you get the URL. The URL would be uh, your domain dot com whatever slash rollovers slash button title. So for example, this one is named lessons button and lessons button ro dot png. Okay, so in iWeb. I'll come here. I'll just use my lessons. So as you can see, I've copied and pasted the code. And right here is where where it says load image one dot SRC equals in between the quotes you need to put HTTP your domain slash rollovers slash whatever the name of the button is and that's the URL. So you would do that for each one of these. As I said earlier, um, it starts on rollover, normal, where it links to, normal. Okay? So rollovers are a really great tool. They really make your site look a whole lot more professional. And it just makes it look all the less iWeb, which is relatively good thing because you know the less iweb it looks the more professional it looks so thanks for watching i hope i helped you guys out i know i haven't been real active but let me tell you this sims 3 is so much fun so i'll try to be more active i really haven't even switched the videos as i said in my update video yet but i'm gonna try to do that soon so thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.